Welcome and thanks for joining us to learn a little bit more about yourself and maybe set some personal goals for using your values. We recommend having a paper and pen or some way to make notes for yourself, but it's not required. And it's also helpful to have a browser on your computer, not just your phone for the survey. Before we jump into defining your own values, let's make sure we're on the same page about what values are. What comes to mind first when you hear that word? Here are some common ideas for what values can mean. For the purpose of this conversation, we're going to consider values from two definitions. Simply put, values are a person's principles or standards of behavior, one's judgment of what is important in life. And to value something is to rate or scale in usefulness, importance, or general worth. Keeping these definitions in mind, you're going to use our online survey to help you narrow your values down to a top five. A couple instructions before you do that. You'll be presented with a big list of words. At first, just select all of the words that are appealing to you as a value. This could be 20 words, 45 words, whatever stands out to you. Don't spend too much time on this as it's meant to be about your first impressions. Then you'll be asked to group these words. Try not to agonize over this right either, but make groups based more on instinct, not what you perceive as right or wrong. And finally, you'll need to select one term that you think best summarizes each group. Make sure you hit the, the final submit button at the bottom up so your results are emailed to you. When you're ready, enter the bit.ly link into another browser window to complete the values clarification survey. Please note that the bit.ly link is case sensitive. Make sure to hit pause on this video while you, while you complete the survey and then come back here once you're done. Go ahead, we'll wait here. All done? Good. Now we wanna help you pay attention, pay attention to those values in your real life. It's so easy to go through life and not consider or pay attention to, your, to our values because life is so busy. It can be difficult to feel like we have time to actually think about our values if they are reflected in our actions on a regular basis. But we would suggest that you think critically about your values once in a while. It becomes much easier to lead and work from them instead of without them. We learn our values from various places in our lives. This can be our families, friends, coaches, mentors, teachers, faith traditions, historical figures, volunteer experiences, laws, media, and even reflecting on our interactions with others. Considering the first value on your list, which of these places do you think you learned that value from? To help you answer this question, Think about when you first remember considering that value or behaving in a way that demonstrated it. Was there a lesson learned from something that helped you understand this value? Take a moment and pause the video to do this for your other four values as well, making notes for yourself of where you think you learned each of the five from. Recognizing where you learned your values from helps you consider what that value means to you and what it looks like in real life beyond just a word on the screen or let's sit in an interview answer. Let's move towards how you actually can use these values now. You may very well want to pull up the list, this list of five values and consider them before, you do, before anything you do, but it's pretty time consuming and kind of exhausting. A better technique is to spend some time once in a while, maybe each week, thinking back on your week, interactions you had, decisions you made, projects you engaged in, your friendships, priorities, etc. Then compare your values with those things. Do each of your behaviors show your values to others? If someone else were to look at the same week of your life, would they be able to name your values based upon your actions? And even this can be a lot to consider. So right now, let's start with just one thing. Pick just one decision you made or interaction you had in the last week. Recall the details and think about if one of your values is present in that decision or interaction. Is it? If not, why not? This regular practice of reflecting on things can help you better train your brain to recognize times to act in alignment with your values for the future. Another way to help you prioritize your values, put the list of values somewhere you'll see them every day. This might be posted on your mirror or door or create a lock screen for your phone with the list of values on it. This technique also helps build new patterns in your brain to think about these, th these values more often. So become more automatic instead of requiring a reminder and the energy that, that that can take. Hopefully you were able to learn a little bit more about your individual values and where they come from. 
we also wanted to give you some larger questions to consider as you move forward. How do I want to use these values in my life, in my friendships, in my leadership or involvement? What does it mean for me if lots of my actions don't align with one value? Do I need to change my actions or maybe my values are different than I thought? What about if my friends or classmates actions don't align with my values? Are they too much in conflict? What about if my organization or work culture conflicts with my values? And finally, how might your values influence your career plans and what you choose to do after Duke? As you think about these questions, we wanna make sure you understand that it's important your values align with your environment because it will help you be happier and more successful. Which leads us to another question of how do you ensure that your environment aligns with your values so that you can achieve those goals? And the answer is simply that you ask really good questions. As you consider joining an organization, here are some questions you might want to ask based on these values. For example, if you value relationships, you might want to know how they build strong relationships in that group or what the relationships look like between members. If professionalism is important to you, you may want to know about the growth opportunities that are in existence. If community service is important to you, you definitely want to ask what kind of service they do, but also what's meaningful about it. And if individualism is important to you, you want to know how the organization brings people together, but balances that with individual needs and choice. One more thing before you're done. In order to complete the Embark module, you need to fill out a post-assessment using the bit.ly link below or the QR code. Please make sure that you enter that link uh, exactly as it is written, as it is case sensitive. Unless you have watched both of the videos and completed that link, you will not be eligible for recruitment or intake in the spring 2021 semester. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at leadership at duke.edu.